This week in the tease, we are talking about the Eucharist. Is it really something that helps build the kingdom of God, or is it just a gimmick that has no place within the sanctuary? Hey everybody, this is Father Christian at St. Mary's Episcopal Church, the place where we tease out the scripture before we jump headfirst to it on the weekend. And this weekend will be Luke 9, 51 through 62. And in it, we have Jesus who is talking to folks who are approaching him on the road and saying, you know, I will follow you, but let me first go do some other things. And Jesus is saying, hey, listen, the kingdom of God is in front of you. There's no reason to turn back, right? It's like the old song, decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. Don't turn him back. What? No turn him back. What? But so Jesus is saying, when we turn back and we're looking in the past, we get stuck in the past and the kingdom is in front of us. So I want to use that to talk about what we have coming up on June 30th, which is the U Eucharist. And sometimes there's a little bit of uh, criticism that comes with doing a service like that because it is... U2, the songs of U2. And for all of you who are uh, not Gen Xers and, and, and are Gen Xers or younger than Gen Xers, you have no idea what I'm talking about. U2 is a band. They're uh, an Irish band. They are Anglicans. Uh, they were formerly a Christian rock band, and then they became one of the greatest bands of all time. That, of course, is subject to people's interpretation. Okay, so you have this Christian rock band or former Christian rock band that now takes their faith and infuses it into pop music and also their form of rock and roll. And when you put that into a church setting, does that work? So let me stop talking about this and introduce you to Brian. Hi, how are you doing today? My name is Brian. I'm sure most of you guys know me. Uh, I've been coming to St. Mary's here for almost two years now. And the, one of the biggest reasons why I started to come to St. Mary's was I was involved in the Alpha course a couple years ago, and I was told about the U2 Eucharist, which is coming up the Sunday after next, June 30th. And that's what brought me to St. Mary's for the first time. It was an incredible event, A, because I love the music of U2, and be all the wonderful people that I met that day. I brought my middle son, Parker, with me that day. And from then on, we have been coming back every Sunday. The, the newfound love we have with Jesus, with, with St. Mary's, with the parishioners of St. Mary's, it's not the building, it's the people that are here that have kept us coming back. And then my other two children solely followed along thereafter. I, I, I really don't know what else to say about the U2 Christ. It, it was an incredible event. It's something to bring people to the church for the first time to see what the, the CFW experience is really like. Um, it's something I highly recommend, and I hope to see as many of you there as possible on Sunday, June 30th. Thank you. So come join us on June 30th for the YouTube Eucharist. Invite a friend, share our event on your Facebook page, and this is a great time to bring folks who might be on the fence, who might be seeking for a spiritual home, or people who are not seeking at all, who just want to come for you too. Bring them. It's great. So the kingdom is in ahead of us. Uh, let's take these fun risks. Not like this is a huge risk. It's been done before many, many times. Uh, but let's keep on taking risks in the kingdom and switching things up. It invites a new uh, demographic and folks into the church. And uh, many stay. So that's on June 30th. Mark it on your calendars. God bless you. Have a fabulous week. God bless.